I'm making another recipe from the Beetlejuice cookbook. This time it is the Maitland meatloaf. Um, it is inspired by Adam and Barbara Maitland from Beetlejuice, which is the main couple who summons Beetlejuice to get rid of those pesky humans. I'm not showing the recipe because out of respect for the author, if you really want the recipe, you need to buy his or her cookbook. I do have a link down below. I'm not sponsored. I bought this book. My husband bought this book as a gift to me. Um, and I'm just, you know, getting ready for the Beetlejuice movie. So I thought I'd make a bunch of recipes from this book. Um, I do love the authors. Like, eat b before each recipe, she gives her, her inspiration. Is it a woman? Yes, Thea James. Recipes by Isabel. So, um... Anyway, I really enjoy flipping through the cookbook. A lot of the recipes are pretty basic recipes that I'm familiar with. Like there's pork chops and just like a couple unique recipes. But for most part, it's just recipes that we've heard of before with an interesting little take on the inspiration. So this meatloaf recipe has a lot of ingredients. Um, I have my own personal meatloaf recipe that's like three um, ingredients and it's really good. Everyone loves it. This one's got a little bit of everything. Uh, the only thing I had to buy was the peppers. I had everything else on hand. The topping for the pizza is going is, to... The recipe calls for marinara sauce, which I had pizza sauce. I, I actually make my own pizza sauce. Um, I have a video on that if you're interested. So yes, all those ingredients I already had except for the peppers. And the red pepper was the most expensive. It was like two eighty four for one pepper. Ridiculous. Um... <laughs> Do you want this pepper, Sage? No. So anyway, I'm gonna get started. Sage, you're gonna get down. Look, get down. You know, you don't wanna be sprayed. And preheated my oven. Oh, and did I mention I'm having the recipe? So the original recipe calls for two pounds of ground beef. So I'm gonna cut everything in half. This is just one pound because it's just me and my husband. I don't mind leftovers, but I, I when I only have leftovers for one day, I don't like leftovers for like two or three days out. So I've made two pound meatloafs before and we never eat it all. And that's why I'm going with the um, one pound. And there's a cat hair story of my life in this house. Sage, look at you. Cat hair. I wipe these counters 20,000. I wipe these counters down 20,000 times a day. And there's still cat Anyway, let me get started. I didn't mention all the ingredients earlier. I'll go over it again real quick. So these are all the ingredients in the recipe. Like I mentioned, I had um, a small onion. I'm getting ready to cut that up. Olive oil, ground beef. It, um, it's supposed to have two eggs, but again, I'm having it. Milk, Worcestershire sauce, uh, or pizza sauce or marinara sauce, green pepper, red pepper, seasoned breadcrumbs, crumbs, parsley, salt, pepper, and garlic. I'm sorry, I can't speak English today. I'm just tired. Um, I just was reading over the re recipe sheet again because I'm like, why is there olive oil? I will not be using the olive oil. So the olive oil is to grease the bottom of the pan before you put it in the oven to bake the meatloaf. Um, I have made meatloaf for 20 years and I have never greased my pan. Uh, I am using 93% lean beef with 7% fat. That's pretty lean, but it's still, I know with that 7% fat, the meat is going to produce enough grease coming out of it that it is not going to stick to the pan. So it's interesting that the recipe calls for greasing the pan. I don't think that's necessary. So I'm leaving that out. I just was thinking that while I'm cutting this stuff up. I'm like, isn't all like, you know, I realize there's different levels of ground beef, but whatever meatloaf I've, whatever meat I've used, there's always, it's always been a little greasy. Sometimes I have to like spoon the grease off at the end, drain the pan. So yeah, sticking is not an issue. So I will not be using this olive oil. And Sage is still, still watching. I've got all the ingredients in the bowl, except for the ground beef. I'm going to add the ground beef, put some gloves on and mix it together. The milk is perplexing to me. I don't know that I've ever used milk in a meat recipe before. And then I did not use all the green pepper or red pepper. I chopped up the rest and I'm just gonna put it in the freezer and save it next time I make chili. I don't wear gloves a lot when cooking for just me and my husband because it's just me and my husband. But whenever I make meatloaf 
or have to touch around me like this, I absolutely wear gloves just because I hate the texture of raw beef. And it's always cold. So cold. And then like if you use your bare hands and it's greasy, then it takes like forever to feel like your hands aren't greasy anymore. You're not getting any of this. He is the only one hanging around. Everyone else is off doing their own thing. No beef for you. You already had dinner. They just ate dinner. All right, let me get this mixed up really good. And then it's gonna go in that pan and I, I do shape it like a loaf. Um, whenever you make me loaf, shape it like a loaf. Don't feel like, oh, you can like press it down and just have it the shape of your pan. You want extra area to the side that if your meat is greasy, it's gonna drain to the side and you can spoon it out. If you don't, the meat, the grease will stay in the meat and ruin the taste, will stay within the meat and ruin the taste of your meatloaf. All right, how do I turn this off without getting grease? I really should have chopped my pepper finer, even my onion finer. It's been a long day, my fault. Um, and now I'm putting the marinara sauce on top, which normally in my meatloaf recipe, I do ketchup and brown sugar, but this is what it calls for. I need a spoon. And I did switch to a bigger pan. I, that eight by eight was too small. And with typical meatloaf, you cook it between 40 minutes to an hour. There you go. And there's my stalker. I just did I mention it kind of looks like a Christmas loaf with this red and green pepper. <laughs> Look, <laughs> it's not Christmas. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. All right, I have a little left. Save that for. I actually make my own marinara sauce, um, or I call it pizza sauce. Pretty much the same thing, because I eat cheese sticks from I get like a huge bag of cheese sticks from Sam's or Costco and then I just use the air fryer and cook like sticks for a, for lunch every once in a while and so and I use my own pizza sauce here's the meatloaf um when I took it out of the oven all I smell is pepper <laughs> I don't normally put pepper in my like green pepper or the red pepper um so we'll see nutmeg's intrigued would you like some meatloaf, Nutmeg? Doesn't she look like a little person sitting there? She does. That's Robert's chair. That's Robert's meatloaf. You're gonna have to get down now, okay? You're gonna have to get down. So pretty. Also, if you're curious why I put my macaroni and cheese in a separate container, Robert doesn't like his food touching. I personally, my, I don't care. I can mix everything together, but out of, you know, respect for Robert, <laughs> guys tend to get into the habit of putting stuff in dishes and I kind of like it, so. That's what we do. Now it's the taste test. <laughs> Robert's, Robert's worried. I can tell by the look on his face. It smells face. like stuffed peppers. <laughs> it does smell like stuffed peppers. It does. it does. All right, Robert says it smells like stuffed peppers. And I actually use less pepper than the recipe required. That's me, love. Your meatloaf's better. Thank you, honey. There's always a cat around. This is also the new rice aroni macaroni and cheese. Did you taste the macaroni and cheese mm -hmm. yet? That's peculiar. Is it still the San Francisco treat? It's good. It tastes nothing like Kraft macaroni and cheese. It is a San Francisco treat. This is what, okay. this was like, we bought it last week, or a couple weeks ago. It's a new product. Why is it so different? Maybe is this just... still pasta? It's pretty good, better than Kraft, and it was less than $2. So yes, the meatloaf's good. Would I make it again? No. 
there's too many ingredients so like I, like the average person probably couldn't make it very easily i just happen to have a lot of ingredients because i cook a lot um and the peppers are, why are red peppers so freaking expensive that makes it like and i think you, this recipe is just for collar because there's not really i'm sure some people say oh there's a big ta taste difference in red pepper and green pepper me i personally don't think there's a huge taste difference it's all about aesthetics like it looks good so I could have got by with just the green pepper. Even cooking it for 50 minutes, the pepper's still crunchy. So, it was interesting. It is just like a classic meatloaf, but there was like 12 different ingredients in it. We'll eat it. It is, it is definitely like, we like stuffed peppers. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad thing. Just missing some rice. All right, there's no rice. In it. I like it. 